Hello, this is Cheryl Abram. Welcome to Person-Centered Cyber and Murder, Mystery, Cyber, and Security. Here I'm going to share true stories of people just like us who live parts of their lives online. So with this series, what I hope to do is demonstrate that cybersecurity is about more than protecting data and systems. And to be cyber secure is to be a person who's informed and better able to make cyber secure decisions while living your work and personal lives in the physical and digital world. Now the story I'm gonna to tell tonight is about Mary Kay Beckman and online dating. Uh, while telling Mary's story, I'm gonna provide a few tips to consider that will allow us who are currently online dating or who are considering it, things that'll help us make more cyber secure decisions. Now, Mary Kay was a very successful real estate agent in Las Vegas. Uh, a long time ago, after her partner uh, died, she decided to try dating again. Her friends convinced her to go online and attempt to meet someone that way. So Mary Kay saw that Match.com's advertising, you know, about love and marriage and happiness, these are really appealing to Mary Kay. So she went ahead and added her profile to the millions of other profiles on Match.com. Uh, she tried a few dates, but things weren't going too well until she met Wade Ridley. Now, Mary Kay said she really, really liked Wade. Uh, his picture was really nice. She thought he was handsome. He loved golfing, and she loved golfing. Uh, he even knew a little bit about real estate. And according to Mary Kay, he answered all her questions correctly. Now, she said she especially liked Wade's honesty, since he was brave enough to tell her about trouble that he had in his last relationship where his girlfriend got a restraining order on him and he got a restraining order on his ex-girlfriend. She was a little concerned when she heard that, but she didn't want to judge because she believed everybody you know, deserves a second chance. Now, she did Google his name, but not much came up, so Mary Kay felt comfortable uh, to move forward. Well, she dated Wade for 10 days before she realized uh, this is not for me. Uh, she broke up with him because the morning that they were going to go on a lunch date to meet her friends, he asked to see her phone after she got a phone call and Mary Kay said, no, you're not looking at my phone. And she took her phone in the bathroom and she put a, a passcode on it to make sure that he wouldn't look in her phone. So later on that day when they went to lunch, he got out of the car and said, uh, oh, I left something in the car. Let me see your keys. So she gave him her keys, but he also said, let me see your phone again. And she said, no, you're not seeing my phone. So he was very upset. And during lunch, he was just very rude. And um, her friends did not like him at all. Okay. And Mary Kay realized, you know what, after 10 days, you know, I don't think this is going to work. You know, you're not the one for me. So when she dropped him off at home that day, she sent him a text saying that, uh, I think we need a break. Now, three months after the breakup, uh, nothing happened. Like she, he texted her a couple times, but she never responded. Um, but one night after she was out with her friends, uh, she arrived home. And while pulling into her driveway, she saw that her garage door was partially open, which was strange because she knows that she closed it. But she decided to get out of the car and she got out, attempted to turn the light on in the garage, but it didn't come on. Now, before she could do anything else, Wade stepped out of the shadows, punched her in the face. And when she fell to the ground, he started stabbing her, just stabbing, stabbing, stabbing until the blade broke. Uh, and seeing that he could no longer use the blade, he then began stomping on her head. Finally, to be sure that he did everything he came to do, he stood with both feet on her neck, trying to make sure that he broke it. So after he was satisfied, he stole Mary's purse uh, and her car, um, and he, he began driving to his ex-girlfriend's house to then murder her with a machete. Now, the neighbor heard Mary Kay screaming, so she ran over, saw Mary Kay on the ground, and called the police and the ambulance, so they were able to get her to the hospital. And uh, Mary Kay did not remember anything. She didn't know who did it, uh, 
but she was of course very very terrified you know nobody really knew who did it and they didn't suspect Wade because she only knew him 10 days they only dated less than two weeks um but after and Simonson, his his Wade's ex-girlfriend after he murdered her with a machete they were able to apprehend him and um and arrest him now here's some steps that you can take to help us make more cyber secure decisions while online dating number one having lots in common does not necessarily mean you have a lot in common so if you share information online it's really easy for someone to find that information and add it to their profile so keep things some things offline okay and to yourself so people don't have just all of your information and you know saying so, you're not thinking oh we have so much in common when in fact they've actually been on your profile looking to see what you do and adding that to theirs number two googling is fine but consider paying a small amount to do a background check to further screen individuals now you can check backgrounds and still not judge the person but you can judge whether you want to risk inviting this person into your life and number three if possible meet and talk to someone who knows your match online dating doesn't throw all real life dating etiquette and common sense out the window okay friend connection subscriber and match are synonyms for stranger until you do the real work necessary to truly get to know and trust somebody now again wade was stopped by police in phoenix he was arrested and he was convicted he got sentenced to 28 to 70 years in prison but he committed suicide in his cell before beginning his sentence now today mary Kay, she continues to tell her story uh, which is how i found out about it about it because she's telling her story and she said she's telling it because she wants to encourage other people to be more cautious when online dating because your security and your life depend on it so thanks for listening to this episode of murder mystery cyber and security i'll see you back here next time